Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Create your own website, online store, or portfolio all in one platform with the help of Squarespace. Good morning. It's Sunday, April 30th, and the shop is gonna open in one hour. It's another like gross, gloomy day. Today I was supposed to go and prime this electrical box for a mural. I was gonna make a whole video about the process and it looks like it's gonna rain this weekend and next weekend. So we're gonna have to delay that mural, but it's fine because the shop is opening. There's about 10 more minutes until I take the password off of the shop and then it becomes live for everyone. I'm excited. Should I just do it early? I'm always so nervous before a shop update because I always set my expectation to zero just in case like no one orders anything and I'm not like disappointed. Um, but yeah, it's a little scary this time because I did spend a lot more money investing in these larger items but they turned out really great and I'm really proud of them. They're out there for the world. It's a little bit scary, but I'm excited. I wouldn't be able to run my shop or my secret shop without Squarespace. And I've had my website for years and years now and created it using one of their many beautifully designed templates. It's super, super easy to customize it to your own needs and style. Whether you're looking to showcase your portfolio, build an e-commerce site or shop, or like start a blog, Squarespace is the one place where you could do all of that and more. I sell both physical and digital products on Squarespace and I could keep track of my inventory, fulfill orders and track all analytics right there on the platform. Plus I could create new listings literally in seconds. Another thing I really love about my website especially is that I have a dedicated links page where I made all these cute little illustrations to go to all like my social pages or whatever I need to link. If you're looking to create a website, head to squarespace.com slash Katie Mai to try it for free. And when you're ready to launch, get 10% off your website. A little bit later in the day, I did my makeup, did my hair, and I put on this cute little outfit. to film a little bit of content for the shop opening. I'm gonna make a couple TikToks, you know, get the word out there. Oh, guys, I finally upgraded my phone. I got the new iPhone 14. Um, I had an iPhone XR last time. Like it, I feel like the video quality was like fine on there. I didn't notice any issues when it came to like uploading stuff, but I love having the zoom in and zoom out function on this new phone. Like it is awesome, especially with the video and stuff. I also got a, a new tripod for my phone because my other one broke. And this one is a lot more heavy duty and it has like a bunch of different things. I got it off Amazon, so yeah, I'll link it for you if you're interested. Uh, it's going to sit on the floor. Um, I also have one sponsorship I need to film too, so I'm gonna do that too. It's Sunday, I usually choose not to work on Sundays, but tomorrow and Tuesday I do have doctor's appointments like all day and I'm gonna be like an hour and a half away. So because I'm gonna be gone, I'm gonna do it today. Let's make some videos. up my new thank you cards. Also got these little cards made to put in the cups just with some washing instructions. The thank you cards. I ordered a lot of thank you cards like four times the amount of orders I have. I painted this on live with my patrons. If you're a patron and you were there you probably saw this guy being made. Just says thank you and I put a QR code on the back. I know. Fancy. Yeah, it's another gloomy day here. So we're just gonna stay in. I have my sweats on, we're packing orders, and I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety the past few months, and it got really bad last week, like in the midst of the shop update. Probably 
related to the shop update. I don't know. I feel, I feel like I've been under a lot of stress while being a full-time artist is great and I wouldn't change it for anything. It does come with a lot of added stress. So I've just been trying to find ways to deal with it. I think packing orders today will be a nice way to distract my mind. Thank you so much to everyone who placed an order. Every time I get an email that I got a new order, like it fills my heart with joy and replaces that anxiety. So yeah, enjoy the vlog. It's already two in the afternoon, so we gotta get packing. Being in my parents' room right now, thankfully they're pretty minimalist. So there's not that much stuff in here, but you could tell behind me there is a lot of stuff for the shop update and I was pretty overwhelmed with where to even start. So I'm just going to start like prepping things. I'm going to package all the cups into their boxes and then get started on packing the orders. I think I sold like a hundred cups, so that's very insane. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about shipping them though because I've never shipped glass before. So I'm hoping that this extra layer of protection will really help them. I'm gonna wrap them up in paper, stick them in the box, and then I also have other padding to put inside the box. I have a ton of extra paper that I've been saving from packages. So I'm gonna start with this first before I jump into that really big roll. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, you let come in. Golden, I'll call them golden. I finally made a matcha in the dragon cup and I love the green. It looks so good. But it's day two of packing orders. I didn't get started on any orders yesterday because after the last clip you guys saw, I had such bad anxiety. Well, the thing I do is just ignore all the feelings I have and then eventually all those small things build up until basically I... <laughs> explode past week has been really hard for me especially i was dealing with a little bit of anxiety about my health i did go see a couple doctors i am a-okay but it's just like my mind was so worried about that on top of the shop and stuff I had a pretty rough time yesterday I decided to just take a break and take the evening off and start a new day just totally reset today, so I'm ready. I My mind is cleared, I feel a lot better, and I'm just ready to get into all these orders so you guys can get all your new items. Yeah, I just wanted to be real with you on like how I was feeling, the process. Yeah. Okay, let's just get to it.
with right now. I'm trying to keep it as clean and organized as possible. So one, I'm less stressed and two, everything is organized so I could go faster. I have all like the bigger items right here spread up on my bed. Shirts, totes, can glasses. And then, and over here, it's pretty much looking kind of the same as what I usually do. So all my paper small items are right there. And also bookmarks and washi tape are right up on here. Here I have a bunch of packaging supplies. They're just like everywhere. So we have boxes, things for prints, and then a, another, and then of course, my rolling cart over here. I feel like I'm ready to start now. I think after like having five-ish shop updates now, I know how to set myself up for success. So I've prepped everything ahead and I think I'm gonna keep going with the same process I did last time. So I'm gonna start with like every order that's in a letter envelope. So anything, so anything that fits into one of these guys, I just looked and I only have like 15-ish that only have letters and the rest are in either boxes or padded mailers. So I'm gonna get these out of the way first. I'm gonna get any orders that need to be combined out of the way first. And then after that, I'm just gonna go through the list, weigh them, and then pack it up. I think that is a good game plan. As I'm going through it, I'll explain to you how I'm packing everything up because I know that is very helpful to you all. So I have my AirPods here so I can listen to music because I need to be listening to music. I cannot be alone with my thoughts when packing orders. <laughs> it's pretty late in the day actually. It's already 2.45. Like prepping takes honestly the longest time out of everything. Like once you get into the groove of packing orders, it's easy, but like getting yourself to go and hyping yourself up to pack orders is what is difficult, at least for me. Oh 
Mark as fulfilled. Okay. okay. I'm so ready to eat. I finished all the letter ones. That went by like pretty fast, but I am starving. And when I'm starving, that's when my brain starts to get all like mushy and I start making mistakes. And when you're packing orders and doing things for a long period of time, it's so easy to forget to feed yourself and you don't even like feel yourself getting hungry, but it really affects how you are. So this is your reminder to remember to eat, have a snack nearby, drink your water, take care of yourself. I'm so excited. I got seaweed salad. This is like my favorite thing to eat besides pho. I love eating pho. I got miso soup. And then, oh my god, I'm so excited with this. I got a poke bowl. Oh, delicious. I'm so freaking excited. I'm gonna use this as a second garbage thing. All right, let's eat. Ooh, yum, this has, I think, tuna, salmon, and crab. I want more of that sauce. And then sometimes seaweed salad is a hit or a miss. Like sometimes it is a little bit too fishy for me, but this place usually makes it really good. Let's try it. Mm, that's good. Okay, let me get the miso soup first. And I'm just gonna take a short break and watch a little bit of secession. That's exciting. What are you, like his Sherpa now? You're like the skull, like, tied to his belt? Because I'm fucking scared. <laughs>